Lindsay Smith is a wired woman, the CEO of her own company, Massive Media. Once a month or so, we entice her to Studio 4 to talk tech talk and keep us connected. The 2010 Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas wrapped up last week. It's the show event where the Microsofts, the Googles, the Apples, and the rest of the tech giants reign. It is my pleasure to welcome Lindsay Smith back to Studio 4 to tell us more. Hello, Fanny. Well, you didn't go, but you heard about it. Uh, yeah, I didn't go, but I have a really good excuse for that. I am planning our own tech here in Vancouver called the F5 Expo. So that's why I wasn't at the CES show. Um, but I can report all the cool things that happened at CES for you. Well, start. Okay. Tell me immediately. Um, some major themes coming up for 2010. Uh, tablets and slates, as you mentioned, uh, they are computer screens. It's kind of like a hybrid between your mobile phone and your, your laptop mm -hmm. or your full computer. It's a smaller device with a touch screen on it. Um, similar to the size of a netbook. A lot okay. of them are five to seven inches. Um, some of them are a little bit, like LG has one that's five inches right now, which is just a bit bigger than a cell phone. So that's exactly. pretty incredible. Um, and then another huge theme right now is that 3D. 3D television. I saw that, so, and that's that's Avatar's fault, mm, or it maybe is, not. It is. Uh, but just back to tablets and slates. Okay. Uh, what's the difference? There isn't really a difference. It just depends which company you're talking to, um, in terms of so whether or not they want to call it a tablet or a slate. It's a lingo thing. I okay, mean, some fine. people might try and put a definition behind it, but I think that's kind of a little mm -hmm. bit. False. Just, <laughs> it's okay. just a nice way of, um, of of talking about a touch screen computer sure. that you can interact with. It's a little bit smaller and easier to carry carry around with you. So, 3D TV, didn't we just get HD TV? Now I we're know. going to 3D TV. So cool though, have you seen Avatar? I haven't seen Avatar, oh. but I know I have to. Oh, it's absolutely In a amazing. 3D theater. Everyone it, says who didn't go to the 3D theater says go to the 3D theater. That is the thing. You actually, you know, the Avatar is like, it's like the new matrix of this generation. Mm -hmm. Like, you could see it in times, it's probably the type you'll want to own, so you could go see it not in 3D and then go see it in 3D and it would be Okay, just maybe as our phenomenal. director could put a blue light on us and we could play Avatar. Yeah, be, yes, <laughs> <laughs> um, but the neat thing about, you're right, so Avatar has brought 3D to the forefront, so uh, a lot of the the big electronics makers like the Samsungs, the LGs, um, they're looking at bringing out three TV, 3D TVs in in the year 2010. Um, they're looking at selling, you know, up to 300,000 units or 500,000 units. Some of them are are estimating the end of the year, okay. which is pretty phenomenal. So the um, IMAX and the Sony. They are working together uh, to create 3D content. So this is always the thing. It's like the chicken and the egg. It's sure. like, do I go out and buy a 3D television if the content's not there yet? Well, who's going to create the content? Because it's 50% more right. expensive to develop 3D content than it is to um, develop regular content. So you've got to somehow figure out a way to justify that increased cost. I'm sure. So, uh, so yeah, um, ESPN, uh, Disney is creating an ESPN channel so that sports will be in 3D. Mm -hmm. And then Discovery is also looking at creating a lot of like earth shows and, and kind of landscape, visual life shows sure. um, in 3D digital content. So if I watch Super Bowl on 3D, do I have to wear glasses or will that all be taken care of? Uh, I think the glasses are still in it from what I can tell. Uh, yeah, I know. That's a huge hindrance to people. But imagine if everybody's doing it. It's kind of cool. I know you're, this is me being a geek again, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, then you've got everybody in the, I don't know if you've seen some of the headlines, but you've got these pictures of all these people with their little geeky glasses and you look I over know. and you're like, whoa. I may have a <laughs> pair of my old 3D glasses. I don't know if they work. It was before you were born. Yeah, they're not uh, too colored anymore, I noticed. Like, you remember how you used to have the yeah, red lens? Yeah, the green lens? one and a red yeah, one. And they were disposable. See, yeah, that now you just recycle them when you, when you use them. Of so, course you they, do. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be the next gadget or yes. the next thing to buy. Uh, trendy 3D glasses. Yes, this is true. Designer 3D glasses, Would so you don't look nerd. For us? Yeah. <laughs> Probably. Well, that's a good idea, maybe. Now, the whole idea, a computer, I'm thinking my refrigerator is going to be the place where I watch TV and mm -hmm. work on my that's scripts. I'm not sure. It's not it's so far weird. of a stretch. I mean, the technology exists. You can get refrigerators that have televisions built in, that have the internet connectivity right in there. I mean, the, in, in the future, you will be touching your um, your computer screen on your fridge and ordering your groceries and keeping an inventory. Yeah. I mean, I think there's a fridge out there. I wish I could remember the name of it, where tracks 
It has a scanner on it, and you put as you put your food in, it scans the barcode and it knows your inventory, so it can tell you and create your shopping mm -hmm. list automatically based on your preferences of when you're almost out of milk. Here's press your little button Fine. and your shopping list. It will list start to talk to us. You're out of. Uh huh. And you can pick your little voices like you do with your GPS. Probably like Male, having your mother female. live with.